Hey friends, it's Becca with Beautiful Miss Plans. I am here today to film a, um, I guess how I'm using the back pages of my uh, B6 Sterling Ink Common Planner. Um, so you see this thing all the time. This is my normal page or my normal planner. This is just, you know, the page right before the back pages. That's why we're in December. We're not doing anything here. <laughs> um, but um, I got the, like the, I think the full size, the full year common planner, it's got like the like big chunk, lots of pages in the back. Um, Cause you can get some that have um, the full year, but it has less pages in the back. I got, you know, the big, lots of pages. Um, and I, did I say this? It's B6. Maybe you know that, maybe you don't, I don't know. Anyway, I have been using the back pages for a few different things. And I thought that I would show you how I'm using the back pages because I always find it really interesting because it's like for the most part, you kind of see how people use their planners, but it's like when there's extra pages, how are you using it? And for me, I am not using it as like a page a day for any kind of journaling or anything because I have a separate journal that I keep for that because I don't like to combine my planners and my journals. So I thought I would show you as someone who's journaling elsewhere, um, how I'm using my back pages. So I guess we'll start with... <laughs> I didn't really like pre-plan this video why I got such like the ones with all the back pages um, and that is partly due because um, I like to write down I got through the first video and now we've hit interruption central like I was saying I like to jot down like how my workout went I do I've talked about this before I do an app um, called moms into fitness I love her um, and I just kind of write down, I don't know that I'll do this next year, just by the way. Um, but I have always liked and to do this is write like what my workout is and then like which program, which one it is and then like how it went. And sometimes when I repeat ones, I can go back and I can look to see like, oh, I need to up my weights or, hey, I struggled with this or, hey, I improved on that or whatever. So I had counted out 52 52 weeks in a year so that I could um, write back here my, you know, how my workouts go and things like that. So this is like pretty simple. It's just writing. And then, you know, this, this should get me through the rest of the year. So that's part of the reason why I got such a big planner, which I probably will not do um, next year because I don't know. I will see. We'll see if I even finish doing, doing it this year. I'm going to continue to work out, but whether I continue to do that, I don't know. So first up, um, we are going to Disney this year. I covered up because it has, you know, some of our information. Um, basically this, you know, just to track uh, information, pricing, times, reservation numbers, you know, things like that. And then I like to do these Disney by coloring color books. Um, they're actually French. I get them from Amazon. I love them. And I've been tracking like... I've already finished one of them. I'm trying to finish another one. Um, so I just track when I do a page because that's one of the things I enjoy doing. This was intended for like book quotes, especially if I ran out of room in my, um, like my monthly section that I have for my books, but I just haven't been at least so far. I don't, I don't have the quotes that I've written down here, but I have a page for it just in case. Um, I started a rewatch of Marvel and so I wrote down all of them in order. I'm on Iron Man 2. I just haven't turned it on yet. A TV tracker for some of the shows. Like I've been rewatching a lot of the shows that I remember watching when I was younger. Uh, lately I've been rewatching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I really want to rewatch Bones. I used to love that show. So that's on the list to rewatch. And then for a while I tried to do like cleaning purge lists and and a tracker and I just didn't stick with that like it was just not those pages just live there now um I started a house projects list because we always have stuff that's like big projects that we want to do and this gives me a place to put it down this won't necessarily be like I may make it a separate page if there's more information to put for you know pricing or what I want or whatever but it just gives me a place to like check off obviously we have done nothing <laughs> But, you know, it is what it is. Some extra chore ideas for the kids. Um, I did a Valentine's page. Okay, I interrupted again. This was a Valentine's um, page that I made to keep track of stuff um, for my husband for every day. Starting on February 1st to the 14th, I, I wrote on a post-it note 
and put it on his side of the mirror, you know. And then I got each of the kids like a book. And then what we were eating, which we always do chocolate covered strawberries, and we always get a heart heart shaped pizza. Like that's our Valentine's Day tradition. I also got my husband a book because, you know, this was a series he was reading and he really liked it. This is the name of my book that I've been working on, and this was just some tasks list. Um, I also have like in my second draft my word counts. Those are gonna change depending on you know next few drafts. A couple deep clean to dos. Um, I forget this is here, <laughs> so I'm not great at you know keeping up with it. Uh, my son's birthday, so I made a list of what we got him, and then we actually had three different things. So we had the get together with my parents, his actual birthday, so I knew what he wanted to eat, which I didn't end up writing down, but I think we ate like spaghetti meatballs. And then for my husband's side of the family, um, YouTube ideas. Uh, so if you guys ever give me ideas or I think of something randomly, then I write it down here. Uh, this was information for after my daughter got her teeth pulled. Uh, just the two teeth. I always say teeth pulled, and then it always throws me because I'm like, if someone doesn't know, they're going to think that we got all of her teeth pulled. Just the two teeth, but this was just some, you know, information. Movies I've watched this year. The Marvels and Titanic. I've really watched so many movies. Um, this was my crochet, like, tracking thing that I did for my narwhal. Um, I showed it, like few videos ago to help me keep track of you know what round I'm on some books that my son likes he's so hard to find like my daughter will read everything like it does not matter what it is she will read it all he's been harder to find book series for he likes to read he does a lot of graphic novels but I've been also looking for like non-graphic novels as well just kind of so he has a mix and these are four so far that he likes so if you have a seven year old or an eight year old uh, these are series that he has really liked. There's probably a few more that I could jot down, but these are ones that he's been very, very fond of. So, you know, take note. Um, some more of those coloring book tracking pages. My stress list, things that I've been stressed out about, which I can cross off taxes because it's done. Um, here's my little Easter page. So um, these are stickers from a Happy Planner book. I cannot for life me tell you which ones. Food, any to-dos, and then what we put in each of their baskets. And then here, this was just a tip-in. I think this was actually a card originally from like Felicity Jane when they used to do subscriptions. And it was just like timing. So I knew when to make stuff. Um, an ideal schedule, which I kind of stick to. Not, not always, but... Um, I think at one point I thought, well, I could add more stuff into it, and then I just never did. Uh, stuff for the shop, basically a brain dump for stuff for the shop. That was a note I needed to make before a phone call. Um, I talked about this in my March um, flip through that I took the journaling prompts from the journal from the Coco Daisy journaling kit. Uh, took a copy of it because um, it's so thick of a card and just print it on regular paper and then just kind of did these journaling problems throughout the month just whenever uh pa different packing lists for different things that you know nothing they weren't big trips they were like either an overnight or a day trip or uh this is when the kids went to my parents house just so you know i can jot down stuff another crochet project that was for my fox that i never showed you in person but i think you saw pictures of um these are, I've been putting down the Coco Daisy washi, just, you know, this is the newest one, by the way, for the May kit, um, just because, I don't know, it's kind of cool to see all the washi laid out. So I saved, you know, two more pages for that, and that should be enough. Uh, we have our April journaling prompts, obviously. It's, I haven't, I've only done the first three, and these are pages for that. And then I've been tracking the April weather um, in the April... Um, one of the kits, they gave weather stickers, and I was like, what am I going to do with those? So I thought it would be kind of fun. We'll see how long they, you know, if I run out of any specific ones. Um, but it is kind of fun to see how the weather was in April. It's been windy. It's been windy. A wish list of some leathers that I want from Planet Perfect. And that's it. That's what I have so far. And I'll do other things. So, like, birthdays, 
holidays, we'll do it. I'll do a bigger packing list for like Disney and more information on like that road trip. Um, sometimes I, whenever I like have an appointment, like I have a telehealth for my lipid doctor soon, I'll jot down notes in here. Um, if there's anything that the vet tells me that I need to remember, um, cause I'm taking my cat to the vet soon, you know, things like that. Um, so that's how I use them. Um, and sometimes, you know, they're just fun things like the journaling prompts and I'll continue to do these, I think for the rest of the year, cause I've enjoyed doing this. Or sometimes it's like, there's really no purpose other than I'm using the stickers and it's kind of fun just to see how, you know, what the weather's kind of been this month. Um, but yeah, so that is how I'm using these. Uh, sorry, I shook the camera. That's how I'm using these back pages. Um, I probably, so this is what I have basically for the rest of the year. It's a lot of pages. That's, that's a lot of pages. I would be shocked if I got through all of these. So... Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for next year because obviously I have time and it depends on if I want to continue doing this or not because I'm just not sure that I need this many pages because this is a whole lot of pages. So anyway, I just thought, you know, for someone like me that I like to, um, I'm always curious for people that don't use journaling pages, what do you use your back pages for? So I thought I'd show you and there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.